Wongs, Wongs, where are the Wongs? Actually, you know what? That's what we should do for sneaker content in this video. Look at this. This whole stack of shoes has got to go. I got to sell all these shoes, man. Trap God, I was having up the whole way. Uh, What is going down, y'all? Today, actually, I got a bunch of shit to do, man. I'm about to go um, sell the size nine Fearless to my homie Chris. Oh, I also need to send out a pair of those, um, the socks, man, the odd socks. If you guys saw them on my story, for people that are retweeting, I'm giving away socks randomly. There we go. These joints. Boom. My man wanted these million dollar man Ted DiBiase joints. Uh, he won these. So I'm going to send these out to my guy there. There was something else. Oh, my Supreme lighter is uh it's out the mini bic man is dead so i need to go to the store pick up a pack of those just a bunch of errands and shit today man does that shit really work do you guys are you driving around and you see people standing on the corner with political signs holding them up promoting a certain position uh, whatever it may be city council your judge your mayor whatever I'm not talking about the voting process, the electoral system. I'm talking about that specifically. Standing on the corner, holding up the sign. Have you guys ever been like, you know what? I'm gonna change my vote, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Curtis Gardner. Appreciate the work his people are putting in out here. You guys ever done that? I just feel like there's got to be a better use of funds for those people. But I guess, hey, what do I know? They've been doing it this long, maybe it works. Anyways, none of that matters, man. What does matter is you saw your boy hit on the shattered backboard 3.0s this morning. I thought all hope was lost. I thought it was over for me. I haven't lost a foot, uh, foot Locker raffle in what feels like decades. Uh, anything that comes to the local Foot Lockers, I'm usually, I feel like I got it on lock. I don't got to do too much work. Yesterday, that wasn't the case. And I was kind of shocked by that because I feel like the shattereds are all over there's a bunch of them so but didn't work that way yesterday missed out on the raffle woke up early got the dub on sneakers this morning baby so we'll definitely have them for the cast uh sometime this week most underrated podcast and then i got something special planned for that shoe uh, i got a special video it's not just going to be a regular sneaker review because you guys have been reviewed to death already on that shoe people have had it early so i'm gonna do something else i'm gonna just kind of give you uh something really dope man i got a plan i want to let it out the bag but uh it's, it's gonna be dope it's gonna be dope what's good, good bro what the fuck how you doing man <laughs> fucking crazy long time no see man. i'm a type of motherfucker that'll check the check through the math i ain't never getting right those margaritas not gone on my car i ain't about to split a damn thing for convenience sake i'm at the restaurant working that way yo my man chris just caught these size nine fearless off me and he just left me in the whip He's a real estate agent. He's about to go show a crib down the block. He's like, yo, dude, I got to go show this crib. And he left me to union lace his sneakers for him. Hell, he goes and makes money. Am I killing it today or what, man? No, I'm just, I'm just messing with my man, Chris. We've known each other since way back in the days of T-Mobile, man. That's how we met. I do not mind union lacing the homie's shoes. Stone Cold Killer right there, bro. Stone Cold Killer right there, bro. But see what I'm saying? Like, the way you do it, you have all this extra lace inside the shoe. And that's the secret, man. That's the tip. That's what makes it. It's not that hard to, I mean, I guess you can see I pull it through the back tab. That's kind of a little secret on it. But the real shit is how do you make it comfortable? How do you get rid of these laces? What do you do? That's the whole secret of it all, man. So that's what we got to wait for the sponsorships and everything else to come through. And I can give you guys the full deets. Wongs, where are the Wongs? Actually, you know what? That's what we should do for sneaker content in this video. Look at this. This whole stack of shoes has got to go. I got to sell all these shoes, man. So maybe that's what we'll do, man. For the people that really rock with the vlog, I'm going to give you guys first chance at these shoes. Let me go run my errands and then we'll just go through the shoes. I'll just run them down, show you exactly what they are. First come, first serve. DM me. We can work out a deal on them cool. I'm not trying to rip any heads off. So there will be deals to be had. It will definitely be less than StockX gold prices. I'm not trying to rip your heads off, like I said. So anything you're interested in, DM me. First come, first serve. And if we can work out a deal on them, great. Other than that shit, right now, I got to find the Wongs, man. Where? Ah, the Wongs. There we go. So if you guys don't know, let's, uh, here, let's go downstairs. 
All right, guys, Eddie Huang Ultra Boost. I guess I'll show you guys these really quick. I'm sending these out today to be uh, customized by my man, Hugh Custom. He's gonna do something really, really sick to these. But we'll give you guys a little bit of a look at the shoe, the packaging. I think this is one of the most slept on Ultra Boost to drop in the past year. I think they dropped within the past year. Eddie Huang, if you don't know who Eddie Huang is, you gotta go do your research. Eddie Huang, Eddie Huang is the man. I mean, he's everything from restaurant industry and food and chef to fashion and streetwear and culture and pop culture and music he's just doing everything he wants to do and i think that's for me that's the ultimate goal like i don't i don't know exactly where i want to be in 10 years i don't i don't even know where i want to be in five years but i just know i want to be doing something i enjoy and whatever i'm doing at that time i want to be passionate about it and i want to be enjoying it i don't really know i mean we're we're kind of on this whole journey together so anyway not to to get too deep on that man let's look at this uh this packaging is sick comes with the dust bag this is one of his companies right here his brands chinny boys barbecue super super cool this dust bag really really nice that comes in the bag uh in the box there and then of course you have the sneaker bang look at that man Eddie Huang Ultra Boost, poppin'. Comes with two sets of laces, the pink and the black. They both have gold lace tips on them. And uh, I don't know what this is looking like on camera, but it's like that breast cancer awareness type pink. And then that pink is also in the prime knit pattern, 1.0 prime knit pattern on the front there. Moving around to the side, you've got this faux leather cage right here. Or Oh, actually, wait. Did I say faux leather cage? What an insult. I mean, real leather cage, my bad. It just doesn't feel like that on this pair though. It feels like cheaper, I don't know. It's like, feels like synthetic. I don't know, it's hard to explain. Moving on to my favorite part of the shoe, these tongue tab hits, these suede, it is so soft. It's a nice suede. You've got the gold hit with the panda on there. On the other shoe, it is the gold Adidas Performance logo. So love that. That's probably one of my favorite parts of the shoes in addition to the gold torsion that you have on there. Lastly, the insole, the Chinny Boys barbecue logo. Same one that's on the dust bag there. So yeah, there you go, man. The Eddie Huang Ultra Boost. Like I said, I'm sending these out to get customized. And then of course, I'll show you the results when I get them back. Hopefully with a discount code like uh, I did in the Off-White, the Spider-Man Jordan 1 Off-White video. That was Hugh Customs as well. And uh, he hooked it up with a discount code. So all you guys that had Spider-Mans were able to send them in. So hopefully maybe we can get something like that going on with these. I can't promise anything, but uh, I'll try to work it out for you guys. What you talking about? My AC never doing nothing blow fan. All right, guys, we're back at the crib, ready to take a look at some steals and deals over here, man. But first things first, shout out to Ascent Eyes for sponsoring this video. Specifically, shout out to my guy Thomas at Ascent Eyes, man. Thomas to Thomas Connection, he hooks it up. He got, got me laced with these ridiculous Cartiers. He put them these uh, custom lenses in it. So make sure you check them out in the description below, man. Follow them on social media. They do all kinds of cool shit. They do giveaways. They actually are sponsoring a Michael Porter Jr. sneaker giveaway on the Most Underrated Podcast. So check that out as well. But uh, their glasses, man, no matter where you live, they can ship. You can put your prescription in here. You can just get clear lenses put in here. You could have sunglass lenses put in here. You guys know I love my glasses, sunglasses, regular glasses, anything. And I get all my stuff from Ascent Eyes. So check them out in the description below. Now let's get into some sneakers. Like I said, man, Twitter, Instagram, DM me the shoe you want. I'll give you guys the price and I'll put a pinned tweet down here on YouTube with all the sneakers and uh, what has been sold and what is still available. It'll say sold or it'll say available. That's how you know. So as long as this video's up in that pin tweet, you will always know what's still available or if everything's sold out, it'll all say sold. DM me, I'll give you the price. We can kind of go from there. Some stuff I may be more firm on, some stuff I may be a little bit more lenient on. Just depends on what the item is. First up, uncaged Ultra Boost, worn maybe five times. Boost is very, very clean. Not uh, yellowed out or blacked out or messed up. Anything there looks really, really good. Solar Uncaged Ultra Boost. These are size 12 and a half. A size 12 and a half on these joints. Solar Uncaged Ultra Boost. Next up, Red Aniki Runner. These ones are dead stock. They still got the Adidas tag. And these are size 12. This pair, like I said, DS. We're gonna fly through these shoes, man. There's no need to show you guys these all in crazy detail. These joints right here, the OG 9317s. I actually picked these up at Feature with Dallas and Vegas, and I fell and hurt my foot a little bit before I bought the shoe. And the shoes were tight on me in a size 12, 12 and a half, so I bought the 13 like an idiot, and now they're way too loose. So I hate that I have to sell these because I really like this pair, but they gotta go really, really clean, man. These are probably worn, same thing, maybe five times. The boost on the back is very clean. That's how you know if these shoes have been worn and trashed because the boost won't look this clean. 
they have. That that hits the ground so much on this shoe. That's the first thing to go. That's the first thing to just get destroyed. Inside looks good. Like I said, only selling these because they don't fit, man. Size 13, OG 9317s. All right, man, let's get into uh, a little bit. Someone consider this heat. It's off-white, little mouse cheese box. You got the uh, off-white paper inside there. This is just a crazy pair, man. For all my hikers out there, I don't know that this is a pair I would ever wear. The off-white Terra Kiger trail shoe, man. These are crazy. The trail spikes on the bottom. Love the big tongue on there. Love the dots on the tongue. I actually like a lot about this shoe. I just don't think I'm ever going to use it to its potential. These are a size 12 and a half in men's. Actually, it's a women's shoe. So they're size 14 in women's. Ladies, you need a size 14. I got you. I got you with a trail shoe. I mean, look at this. Engineered to the exact specifics of trail runners. Warned to be wild. What do you know, man? These are, these are ready to go. If you're running trails, you're a size 14 in ladies or a 12 and a half in men, I got you. Next up, Aniki Runner. This is the neighborhood Aniki Runner collab. So you got the limited box there, all black pair, black boost, neighborhood brigade on the back. These are 9.5 out of 10. These were only worn for an on feet. So they probably, I was gonna say passes dead stock, but they wouldn't. So yeah, 9.5 out of 10 on these, man. Only worn for an on feet. They still have the tissue paper inside. Very, very clean, very nice box. OG all, sneaker politics, you know the deal. Next up, oh, here we go. The Ultra Boost Climas, man. These Climas are all one of one or basically one of one. They could be created during the Mi Adidas promotional period. Now that's over. So these no longer exist. I even looked on GOAT. I don't. I only found two used pairs and they were like a nine and a nine and a half. So these are basically gone. They're dried up. They've evaporated. Your boy's got the stock here, man. Shout out to the homie Dave D who sold these to me, but they're a half size too small. All these Climas are 11 and a half and uh too small for your boy so let's start out with these are these these saints the new orleans saints joints or are these the star wars stormtrooper joints man either way stupid flames again dead stock never been worn and all of these climbers come with an adidas like backpack like a shoulder backpack keep that in mind as well that's part of the climber pack next up oh these are the tennis ball joints these are ridiculous man got the orange and the prime knit up front dead stock nice white boost white outsole orange insole on the inside super super sick here again size 11 and a half oh these joints right these are vnds because these were stepped in for like i think they were worn once or for an on feet or something but uh they've just white outsole stepped in there but everything else is clean they're worn maybe one time the miami hurricanes joints look at that man these are super super cold I have my own pair of these. They're a different, little bit different colorway, but both of them are dope. I really like the orange stripes on this one. These are super sick. Miami Hurricanes, Clima Ultra Boost Custom there. Oh man, the red joints are super, super cold. These ones here, these are like peppermint, man. These are like a candy cane. Who's gonna buy these candy cane joints for Christmas time? Look at that. You got the white sprinkled in there. You got some um, alternate laces swapped out. Really, really dope, man. This pair is sick. Again, dead stock. All right, this is the last of the climbers, man. This pair kind of represents the nakeds. Got the really neutral tone there. Ultra Boost just stamped in very clean. Climbers are my favorite, man. Look at that. You get the 1.0 kind of prime knit pattern, but it's more breathable than a 1.0. I just, I think this was the best executed Ultra Boost that Adidas made, man. All right, next up. Oh, these are actually a Mi Adidas as well, but these are the Mi Adidas, uh, what the hell, multicolor pack, I think that was called. Looks like a little Kuji, Kuji sweater action there. These VNDS, they were just stepped outside in a parking lot for an on feet, but everything else super, super clean, boost. They've never actually been worn, just worn for that on feet. So everything else is very, very clean. 2.0 prime knit pattern on these ones next up jordan 6 infrared this is the pair that came out this year ds og all very very clean next up oh my God. i'm so sad about these this is a pair i actually want i'm gonna need a 12 and a half or a 13 these are a size 12 but they fit probably an 11 or 11 and a half these new solar pack is stupid tight. So this joint here, this is for someone with an 11 or 11 and a half. Even though they're a size 12, don't buy them. If you're a 12, they're not going to fit you. Oh man, these are dope. This is from this year, Jordan 12 Chinese New Year, the all gold box. Really, really nice. You get the limited edition paper. If you're somebody that loves 12s, I'm kind of off 12s right now. I sold my flu games. I'm just, I just don't wear my 12s. But if you're somebody that loves 12s in a size 12, this is you, man. Look at this. You got the navy up top cream super nice on the bottom 
I mean, this is, you got the flags on the inside, special box, special packaging. There's a lot special about this shoe. It's crazy that everyone slept on these the way that they did. All right, man, Yeezys. Let's get into the Yeezys. These are a size 12 as well. And this pair is the frozen yellow dead stock tag still attached. This is from the second drop, Yeezy Frozen Yellow, size 12. Another Yeezy, the Black Statics. These were worn, uh, stepped around for an on feet, but the Boost is 100% clean. Outsole doesn't even look like they were, I mean, these, these, are, these are pads, bro. Pass as dead stock, for sure. Size 12 also on these Black Statics. Another Yeezy, these joints are size 11. These are in 11, the Yeezy Blue Tints. Super clean. A lot of people really love this shoe, man. A lot of people like dead stock, blue tints, OGR. All right, last of the Yeezys, the Yeezy Zebras. These are a size 13, man. And these were actually just stepped around in outside. And I realized the 13 was just a little too big. So size 13, 9.5 out of 10, VNDS. Like I said, not even worn really, just stepped around. Uh, last but not least, man, the Dornbecker Dunks. And they actually come with the uh, Dornbecker Freestyle Socks that were limited with the release. This is the retro pair. Tells you all about the kid, Finn Mooney, who created these dunks, why he created them. He had a heart problem, has the big heart on the side, the thump thump there. Really, really dope. Nice colorway as well. These were worn one time, uh, 9.5 out of 10 VNDS. I mean, you can't even tell. These are probably past the dead stock, honestly. There's not even any uh, dirt on these things. So that is the Dornbecker Dunks, man. If you're a big fan of dunks, if you're a big fan of uh, this colorway, Actually, you know what? If you guys buy this dunk, I will make you a deal. I'll make you a bundle deal with that Peter Forsberg jersey in the back that I thrifted. That thing is super cold. Look at this. Boom. Peter Forsberg, number 21, the Swedish national jersey. Got the Swedish patch on there, Nike patch on there, logo on the front. Little bit of staining on the bottom there. Nothing some spray and wash probably couldn't take out. But if you guys are interested in those dunks, I will uh, I'll get you kitted and fitted, man. Suited and booted with this Peter Forsberg national team jersey all right i think that's gonna wrap up this video man like i said dm me if you guys are interested in any of these sneakers we can work out a deal shout out to my guy thomas from ascent eyes for providing these cartiers well as sponsoring the video as well as sponsoring the michael porter jr giveaway so make sure you guys check that out check out the most underrated podcast for all the details we're giving away autographed pair of puma sample sneakers from michael porter jr really really dope thank you to ascent eyes as always thank you guys for supporting everything i do i love the shit out of y'all and i will see you full Tomorrow. What's your talking about? My AC never doing nothing. Blow fans. Walgreens car shopping all the off brands. Boy, go hard. Wake up, let me got family.